This is a quick tutorial um, for using Borderlands 2 with Nucleus Co-op over Hamachi. I come across a Reddit post where a user was having trouble with this. Um, the only exception is he states he's using Borderlands 2 Game of the Year edition. I have just Borderlands 2. I wasn't aware there was a Game of the Year edition. So it was a, bit a little bit finicky getting the instances to launch, but not really tricky getting them to connect across LAN at all. I did not receive the error that he was getting where uh, it was telling him the games were different versions, that sort of thing. Um, so it seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess the key steps are first launch Steam and Borderlands 2 on every PC you're gonna run an instance on. Make sure the game works that way first before doing any of the stuff with Hamachi or the stuff with Nucleus Co-op. I'm going to link a video uh, that shows you how to set the interface priority for the Hamachi network. And I, that also I feel is a big key to getting this to work. So go ahead, pause this video temporarily, go watch that video about Hamachi uh, instance priority or Hamachi network priority, then continue these steps. So we're going to open up Nucleus. We want to go ahead and get Borderlands 2 working. That's the game in question here. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the script. Um, this is what I've done with the latest version at this time of Nucleus Co-op. is the Alpha 8 by Lucas with the Zero Fox mods. Um, so 999F1. Um, I've tried with both of these scripts and there's a few slight differences. Um, uh, this one was causing freezing on the computer where I was running two instances, whereas both of them seem to work with the computer running one instance with keyboard and mouse. I'm going to use this one. Go ahead and follow these steps. We want to download it. Then it wants you to add the game, so we can go ahead and hit yes. Since I've done this previously, it's already got where Borderlands 2 is. You're going to have to navigate and find your Borderlands 2. Let's see. Um, this is because I've been doing it previously, so I'm just going to answer yes to this. Um, well, that's a good thing to know if this actually does this to you. Now do we know which one? Which one's the right one? So let me just remove the game from the list. Remove the game from the list. That should do the trick. Now we can just search game again. There we go. Now, since this is going to be player one and the specific script I'm using, um, we're going to actually go to the game script and open it. What's been causing some issues as well, so that we can play over Hamachi, is this option here for using Goldberg. I'm going to go ahead and move this to true. Um, otherwise, this script has most of the stuff already how we want it to be. So you want this Goldberg to be set to true, and you can just save it and close it probably want to relaunch Nucleus at this time so that it'll re-check um, that script and use it again. Now we can go ahead and select Borderlands. Since this is the PC that's going to be running one player and we're going to be running two on the other one you can see in the recording. I apologize that they're both switched. Um, let's go ahead and put the keyboard on here. Go ahead and hit play. Going to have to respond to that prompt. Then it's going to go ahead and launch Borderlands here, as you'll see. It doesn't seem to matter as long as you follow the, the steps correctly. It doesn't seem to matter which instance is the host. It could be the keyboard and mouse player on the single system, or it could be one of the two players that are using controllers on the other one. Um, this, since there's only one instance on this, it's okay. We can just hit okay, and dismiss it. Give this one a second, click the mouse. And then this is gonna take a, a moment to search. Like I said, I didn't remember there being a Game of the Year edition for Borderlands 2. Um, I got this in a pack with Borderlands 2, one Game of the Year edition, and a uh, pre-sequel. Uh, so I believe I've got all of the DLC, all of the options. It just takes a moment for this to search through. Once we move over to the split screen systems, you're going to see uh, kind of the process that you want to be careful to follow to make sure every game first sees which DLC you have, and then it does this creating online session thing. And you want to switch the network mode to LAN before starting the next instance. This is the process, again, that worked for me making sure we can play over Hamachi 
using Nucleus Co-op for split screen and uh, a second system. So again, I've switched that to the network options. It should be on LAN, and because we're using Hamachi, and because of my other video I directed you to, uh, setting the Hamachi priority, uh, then this should work for you. I'm gonna switch to the other computer now. Um, it's through an Elgato HD60, it's not the S, so there's gonna be a slight delay um, in what I'm saying and doing. Again, we're in version 999F1. Go ahead and find the game. Script. Down on this one. Probably gonna get that double. Yeah. Oh no, we didn't get the double instance thing. But again, we need to go and open the game script and change Goldberg. Push a button, that guy's controller one. Push a button, that guy's controller two. Okay, we're gonna grab up controller one here. We're gonna wait for the game to launch. We're gonna get the prompt about launching the second one, but we actually don't want to do that yet. We kinda wanna get the first one in position and ready before we do anything with the second instance on the split screen computer. See that prompt comes up, but we want to ignore it. Just keep your controller in your hand, don't click on anything yet. Once you see this Borderlands logo in the background, you can hit A or start on the controller, and you'll see it's doing the searching for content. There we go, Nucleus is doing its thing where it positions the window. Creating online session. Seems like this one goes a little bit quicker here. This is my, you know, my nicer computer. It's a little bit faster. Also, that's why I'm running two instances on this one instead of the other. All right, so we gotta make sure we switch network mode to LAN, like I was saying. From here, you're okay to actually set down the controller. If it makes you feel good to ensure that it keeps working, you can occasionally wiggle the thumbstick on player one's thing. But now, we can actually respond to this. We'll hit okay, and we'll pick up the second player's controller. So again, Nucleus is going to be doing its thing, getting ready to launch the game. And then once again, there's going to be a prompt about uh, once all instances are okay, press okay, yada yada yada. Don't click on it yet. First, we want to wait for this loading screen. Then we want to be pressing A on the second player's controller until we see that loading in the bottom left where it says searching for downloadable content. session. A little bit quicker on this one for these two than on the, uh, the single player keyboard and mouse one. Again, we want to go to network options, network mode, switch to LAN, basically before we do anything. So now we should be good to go. We can hit OK on this. Drag it up here since it seems our mouse is locked to player goals window. We'll hit OK. Now we are good to go. When we do find a game, uh, we should be able to find any of the other two games. I'm going to find game. hard to tell which one's which, but as soon as you join one, you'll get this message about the shift connection lost. That doesn't matter, because you're still joined into that other game. If you'll see on the top screen, it looks like there's two people. So it's okay, I'm just waiting for player one to actually start the game now. I can do select characters if I have existing, I can do create. Um, I believe there's already some tips about modifying the HUD, so you can actually see what's going on. Um, let's go ahead and switch back to the single person computer that has keyboard and mouse. Since we already set it to LAN, we should be able to hit find game. And there it is, it finds the game. We should be able to join it. Again, we're gonna get the message about the shift connection loss, but that's not a problem because we are in the game. In a moment, it should pop up over here on the right where we see the three players. There it goes. So we have successfully connected across Hamachi using a Nucleus Co-op three-player Borderlands 2. Uh, this person keyboard and mouse. The other two are on controllers. Let me figure out which one's player one here again. And then as soon as you hit new game on player one, you just gotta wait for them all to load. That way you can create or 
uh, load existing characters. Here we go. Player one's working. Player two appears to be working. Just wiggling both thumbsticks at once. And if I check out my second individual PC, here we go. We can choose our characters. Get started. So everything appears to be working. Hopefully you guys have the same good luck in getting this working.